Hey, what's going on, fam? It has been a while, but it is moving day again. Um, we still love it here at Naval Station Mayport, but we've getting some good feelings about our next stop. We're going to Kings Bay, Georgia. Kings Bay Naval Station or some submarine base, I don't know really. But uh, we're really looking forward to it. Done my research, got a path, got a route. It's only an hour or so away from here. So we, we could take our time this morning. And so since we're taking our time, I'm kind of give you a little idea of how I pack up and everything. I know this is not the best, but I just want to show it to you, fam. Let you know what we're doing so far. All right, here we go. So I start off by loading uh, everything that does not go inside the RV into the back of Black Pearl. That's the F-150 for those of y'all who are new to the channel. Um, I got my chairs here. I got our Rhino tank, external black tank, and I have a couple tough boxes. I still need to wait for the other tough box because I got to disconnect the uh, sewer lines in the water and put that in the other tough box. The sewer line goes in a box by itself and the water goes in this tough box that you see right here. The uh, hoses and stuff like that. So once I do that, I just put the bikes in the back. Peggy's working on the inside. But once she gets the inside all secured down and packed down and stuff, I can go, we can go ahead and bring the slide in. I can disconnect the uh, sewer lines and the, and the uh, power and put the sewer lines in the tough box, like I said earlier. And then we just gotta hook up. Do our little checklist and then we'll roll out. Hey, what's up fam? The Don here. I'm here with uh, Jim. Yeah. Uh, he's a big diesel pushing class A owner. For, so, for those of y'all who say class A owners are snob and don't come out, Jim says hogwash. But you know what? <laughs> it was that. I noticed that when we first got one, people in Class A stay inside all the time. Yeah, that's 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 the I idea. go camping to get out here. Exactly. Yeah. So Jim is not one of those guys who says you go camping just to stay inside your RV. <laughs> you can stay home for that. But yeah. he was telling me because you know Piggy and I have been thinking about a fifth wheel or a Class A or something, and he was like, "This Class A is like having a house with an earthquake every time you move and stuff like that." How long you been doing this? Uh, total about. <laughs> Probably 12 years now. Wow. Yeah. And you, you, you started off with a, what? A, a little, little pull behind. We call it a cramper. It was a cramper. So <laughs> you, started, you stayed outside Six, with a cramper. 16 foot. We towed it with a Ford Explorer. Oh, okay. And then we got hooked right at that point. I mean, we, we've been doing it. A, we do it six months out of the year now. We got okay. a house. We go back to and then the other six months we're in that. So that's about how Piggy and I are going to be. After we get done with this first year, we're probably going to be doing like half on, maybe a little less than half on and stuff like that. But he was telling me, you know, it's, it's not all sunshine and rainbows and everything. Mm -hmm. He spends like every year, like with Home Depot and Napa. Yeah, I, 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 as a long, as you get a long way, things break, you got to fix them. Yeah. If you can't move, you can't. <laughs> That's not good. So. He, he was like, besides this, 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 and this, everything is great. Everything's cool. <laughs> I'm going to get back to breaking down. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right, man. Excitement of it. I missed the excitement of it. <laughs> yeah. And now we're fully disconnected. We are fully, fully disconnected. We like to do our little walk around to make sure things are done. trying to go with us too late player yep looks like everything is looking good on this side what we doing now honey bunny well i'm gonna uh just uh, turn off the propane tank make sure that's closed make sure yep. they're both closed <clears throat> okay so guys blue rhino is that deal okay i'm gonna tell you why 
with the tanks that came with the truck, you have to take it in, stand in line, wait for it to be filled. With Blue Rhino, pick it up, take it in, and swap it out. Now, the initial cost was right at $40, mm -hmm. right? But when you take it in for a refill, you pay $17. Yeah. Now, we've had our Blue Rhino since Uchi Creek. And we just swapped it out yesterday. Just swapped it out yesterday. So, you know how long Uchi Creek was? That was what? Six to eight. It was six weeks ago, at least. Yeah. It was right. at least six yeah. weeks ago. So, that's pretty good. $17, you can't beat that. Exactly. And they do sell the Blue Rhinos on most on all the military bases they have them. well at least yeah, so far we've seen it on all of them where you get your gas from you go in and get your blue rhino all right so my honey bunny is about to do his man work <laughs> all right all right Hey guys, so we're back. Um, <laughs> we had a delay, a technical difficulty. I won't even begin to try to explain to you what happened. I will let Donald show you and tell you later on. But this life, you're forever <laughs> learning and it's good. So maybe if it happens to somebody else, we'll be able to help them along the way. Yeah. But anyway, we are on our way to Kings Bay. It's a naval submarine submarine base. Oh, it's a submarine base. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this beautiful view. I'm just going to miss <laughs> it. Bye. We won't be able to watch the dolphins or anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I need to learn. Like, you have to be patient with everything that we do as far as hitching up and plugging in and doing this that and the other. You just have to be very patient. This living this lifestyle will teach you patience because you don't want to make a mistake. Yeah. Because if you make a mistake, it's gonna either cost you money or time. Yeah. And you don't want either one. Especially the money. Especially money. <laughs> but the good thing about this is we only have an hour an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, this is our shortest trip since we started this journey. Yeah, so, and yeah. we're leaving right at, was 10 minutes to 11 in the mm. morning. So. Looking forward to it. <laughs> moving day is the hardest. It yeah. is, it is. Moving yeah. day, moving day can be rough, but mm. you know, you, you just gotta work things out and make it easy for you. Mm. But um, so we're looking forward to this place because it has all the same things, you yeah. know, free Wi-Fi, free cable. Uh, what else? Uh, full hookups. Exactly. Free laundry. Exactly. Again, 
Oh, that's right. Free laundry at this place. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorites. I don't know why I'm so big on laundry. I guess because ever since we paid $8 to wash clothes at Fort Campbell, <laughs> Kentucky, I cannot believe. It was an $8 machine, wasn't it? $8.25? We didn't pay it, though. We didn't use it. Oh, we, we used a six fifty. $6.50, but still, that's... $6.50 to for a machine. Ever since that happened, I've just been so attentive on yeah. laundry rooms at RV sites. <laughs> but the, the thing about it though is since it's free everybody's washing you know like I can deal with that yeah so it's like you have to <laughs> wait until people leave and stand outside are you done are you done mm -hmm. but Donald does the laundry like he because he likes doing it because it's free <laughs> it makes so me I feel good him, I don't know what to tell you she folds it yeah folding like, is the hardest part no, I, that's the best part to me but <laughs> so that works out it works out so he'll just bring them home all balled up and while they're still nice and warm I'll take them out and fold them up and put them away so that works it works for me yeah he can get out and talk to people exactly whatever else old men do <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just i'm just kidding yeah i like it mm -hmm. i am proud of my gray look at all this gray i'm an old man thank god with my white socks and stuff <laughs> i wasn't gonna even mention you you wasn't even gonna mention them white socks but um excited a new adventure now what part of georgia are we this in? is way southeast georgia it's in the bottom right hand corner of georgia so i mean like right after we cross into georgia we're gonna be taking that first exit oh okay yeah so it's gonna be the start of our little uh summer rounds through georgia and south carolina go to some of the places we've lived in and visited before uh, hit the beaches that we are familiar with, go see some of the old neighborhoods, maybe do a little bit of house hunting, because we're probably going to end up settling in Georgia, most likely. Stuff like that. I'm looking forward we're, to it. We're going to stick a pin in Georgia, because in we just never know. Never know. We just never know, because there was one point in my life before I met Donald that I wanted to live in Texas. Mm -hmm. So, it, but like I say, it's good that we get to do this because we get to go to places, and I mean really stay there, look and see what it has to offer. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not staying with anybody, so we don't have to be subjected to what their plans are or anything. We could just take our time and check out the place. There you go. So anyway, guys, uh, I we will be back when we have something to share. All right, fam. See you on the road. See you on the road. Don't 
check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Taking time out to be And live my life I'm in a place serene and pure and free Hey, what's going on fam? So we've made it here after a couple detours. Kind of hard to find the right gate on the weekends. But like I said, we've made it. We've connected. We're all set up. Peggy is taking advantage of the free Wi-Fi that's offered and streaming some of her favorite TV shows. So I'm just going to take a minute to show you what I believe is going to be one of my favorite spots. Let me give you a nice look at where we're set up and what kind of things they offer. So here's the vibe. Obviously, like I said, it's full hookup and it has these little concrete pads. But this place is very different from any of the places we've been to so far. If you look around, it kind of feels like a neighborhood, right? It doesn't really feel like an RV park. I think it's because of stuff like this, these little touches. So we got hedges between each site. Everybody has their own little hedges between them and the person next to them. And there's plenty of space between each uh, site. Um, they put down the little bark chips. We did the same thing at our home in Savannah. So that's a good feel. Around the electrical and the connections, they have these little fences. So now we got a little fence. I know it's only one small one, but it's just another thing that feels very homey. So... I really, really like this place. The internet is good. The cable is good. Electrical water pressure is good. Comes with this little picnic table. The grass is well maintained. It's very green. I don't see many dead spots or anything. Good sized pads. And something we haven't seen in a while is a little fire pit. Now ours hasn't been cleaned out in a while. But you can't ask for everything. I'm going to go ahead and try to clean that out myself so I can take advantage of that while we're here. And yeah, this is a pass-through spot, so I drove right in. Didn't have to go through all that backing in and stuff like that. Honestly, so far, this is my favorite spot. We've been saying that for our last four spots, except for Tampa and stuff. Tampa was all right. Mayport, Destin, Uchi Creek, but this right here, this might be the one. Everybody here is so friendly too. People drive by five miles an hour, no faster. And they wave and people who are out there walking, they, they, they wave to you and stuff. And it's just everybody sees that have a smile on their face. And tomorrow, tomorrow morning being Sunday, at from 8 to 10, they're going to have a coffee and pastry get together. So I told the, uh, I told the site manager, I'll be there from 8 to 10. I'll be taking full advantage of the coffee and the pastries. <laughs> so I can't wait to get out. Peggy and I are going to be doing some bike riding, going to be doing some walking, going to go out down there by the lake. Ooh, let me show you something. So this is the clubhouse right here. This is where we're going to have the coffee and pastries in the morning. And this is also where the laundry is located. Just like Mayport, it has a free laundry. But behind the clubhouse, is this little area. Now I like this. Look at this. Got a swing over here. Got some wood back there stacked up. Got another swing over here. Table. I would love to be able to get some family and friends or just some people I don't even know to just meet up out here around the fire and just chit chat and have a conversation. This is very well done. Of course, they have a fire extinguisher right here, right across from the fire pit. Safety first. Inside the clubhouse area, we got this little sack snack machine, soda machine, 
and a machine for detergent because it's located right here next to the laundry room. So I'm gonna go inside. Now this is nice. What do we have here? We got five dryers and we got five washing machines. Got a place to sit. Got an iron board and iron over here. Iron board over here, iron. Some paper towels, a folding area. Uh-oh, somebody says free here. Look at that. I'm gonna leave that there. It's cooled off, have a couple ceiling fans going on. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> you don't need a change machine in this laundry room. This is a nice place. Also for the pet owners, they have a little pet play area over here, fenced off. A lot of people don't want to keep their uh, fur babies, their little doggies on a leash all day long to get fresh air. They can take them inside here and let them run free for a little while. Well, you know, free in a, what is that, 600 square foot area. So here's a far out view of the side of the park that we're on. Got some air streams, got some fifth wheels, got some class A's over here. It feels like a neighborhood. I know you, you see me walking on a gravel road right now. That, that does not bother me at all. Even this, even the gravel road is well maintained. <laughs> you don't see a lot of loose rocks or anything. Look at that. Where do you see trees and hedges and fences like that? So that's it for right now. I know it's a short tour, but you know, it's our day one moving day. It's kind of tiring, but everything is set up. I have the awning out. I got the rug out and the chairs out. Sit back, have me a beer, and uh, let's see what tomorrow holds. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's been a long time since the last video on this channel, but we appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us. And so we'll see you in the next video. And remember to goddamn do something good for yourself and for others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam.